Did you know that when you transfer photos between different platforms, you could be losing important metadata without even realizing? Dates disappear, locations get stripped, and suddenly all that valuable information that helps you organize your photos is gone. But don't worry, there are ways to keep your metadata intact so your photos stay searchable, organized, and properly dated, no matter where you move them. In this video, I'll walk you through why metadata gets lost, how to prevent it, and the best tools to transfer your photos safely. Plus, stick around until the end for a bonus tip that will save you a ton of time if your metadata has already gone walkies. What is metadata? Metadata is hidden information attached to your photos. Things like the date and time the photo was taken, the location, camera settings, and even keywords. This data makes your photos easy to sort, search, and organize. But if you're not careful, transferring between platforms can strip away this crucial information. Why metadata gets lost during transfers. Before we get into how to protect metadata, let's talk about why it disappears in the first place. Understanding the problem makes it much easier to avoid in the future. Metadata loss happens because different platforms store and process photos in different ways. Some services like Apple Photos and Google Photos try to keep metadata intact when syncing photos, but others like social media platforms and messaging apps strip out metadata entirely, usually for privacy reasons. Some of the most common ways metadata gets lost are through cloud storage services, Google Photos, iCloud, and OneDrive, these store metadata but not always transfer it properly when files are downloaded or re-uploaded. In fact, in the case of Google Photos, any additional comments you've added will not come with the photos when you download them. Social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. These completely remove metadata to protect your privacy. If you upload a photo and then re-download it, all that metadata will be gone. Email services. Some email services can compress and strip metadata from images to reduce file size, especially if you paste them into the body of the email. All that data will be gone. File transfer methods like AirDrop generally keep metadata intact, but other methods like transferring from an iPhone to a PC via USB can modify or strip certain details. This is why you might find your photos with missing dates, incorrect order, or lost location data after transferring between platforms. Now let's talk about how to prevent this from happening. Tip one, use the right transfer method. Not all transfer methods are equal. When it comes to preserving metadata, some will keep everything intact, while others will strip crucial details. Choosing the right transfer method is the first step to ensuring metadata remains untouched. The best transfer methods that keep metadata intact are external hard drives and USB sticks. If you directly copy photos from your computer to an external hard drive, the metadata will remain intact as long as you don't alter the files. Cloud storage services like Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. These platforms generally maintain metadata when you download your files correctly. AirDrop keeps EXIF metadata, including dates, locations, and camera details when you transfer. Methods that remove or modify metadata. WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. These messaging apps strip metadata entirely to reduce file size and for privacy reasons. So that explains why the photo your friend sent you of your holiday via WhatsApp that you only downloaded when you got home has the wrong date on it. Email attachments. Some email services, especially web-based ones like Gmail, remove metadata to compress images. Downloading from social media. If you upload a photo to Facebook or Instagram and then try and download it, all the metadata will be lost. Whenever possible, choose a transfer method that doesn't compress or modify your files. This will keep your metadata intact and ensure your photos remain properly organized. Tip two, save your photos in a metadata-friendly format. The format of your images can also determine whether metadata stays intact. Some formats store metadata more reliably than others, so choosing the right format can make a big difference when transferring your photos. 
Some file types store more metadata than others. If you use the wrong format, your metadata might be automatically stripped when moving files between platforms. JPEG. The most common format supports EXIF metadata, dates, locations, camera settings, and works well across different platforms. TIFF. A high quality format that retains all metadata, but takes up more storage space. It's ideal for archiving. HEIC. Apple's default format keeps metadata but may not be fully compatible with non-Apple devices. PNG and BMP do not store metadata. These formats should be avoided for archiving photos at all costs. My top tip is if you're transferring between Apple and non-Apple devices, it's a good idea to convert HEIC to JPEG before transferring to ensure metadata is preserved. Now, if sorting your photos is something you're trying to get better at, you might also be wondering how to tackle the bigger problem, sorting your entire photo collection across multiple devices, hard drives, and cloud storage. That's exactly why I created my Photo Mess Success courses, to help you get every photo into one place, declutter your library, and create a system that actually works. If that sounds like something you need, you can check it out at photomesstosuccess.co.uk, where I'll help you go from photo mess to mastery one step at a time. But for now, let's move on and get you focused on my next metadata tip. Tip three, use dedicated metadata tools. If you want to make sure your metadata stays intact or even restore missing details, there are some great tools to help you. These tools allow you to view, edit, and even fix metadata that may have been altered during transfer. The EXIF tool is a powerful free tool that allows you to edit, copy, and restore metadata. It's a great tool, but it does take a bit of technical knowledge or bravery to learn. If you can get past that, you are on to a winner. Adobe Bridge. This lets you view and modify metadata before transferring photos. And considering it's free with an Adobe account, you can't go wrong. If you want to know more about Adobe Bridge, then check out my other video all about Adobe Bridge that you can access through this little link up here. A better find attributes for the Mac. This tool quickly edits, timestamps, and restores metadata on Mac devices. You will have to invest a little bit, but this tool is my favorite way to adjust dates on my files that are on my Mac. If you notice any missing dates or locations, these tools can help you add them back in manually before you transfer. Bonus tip, restore missing metadata if it's already lost. But what if you've already transferred the photos and lost the metadata? Don't panic, there are some ways to get some of it back. For date and time issues, use a better find attributes for the Mac or the EXIF tool for Windows to manually create timestamps. You can also find all sorts of hidden dates that haven't been lost still hidden in the data. For location data, if the GPS metadata was stripped, try using Google Maps timeline to check where you were on that date. Or you can use Adobe Bridge to add the location data back onto the files so you know where they were taken. And that's how you keep your metadata intact when transferring photos between platforms. By using the right transfer methods, file formats, and tools, you can avoid losing key details like dates, locations, and camera settings. But are you confused about all these dates? Then check out this video next for the lowdown. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.